Let me switch over to the two chamber view. Quite often, one wall or the other will be difficult to see. We want to make sure we're seeing them both well, and in that case you may need to just change your position on the chest, change your angle a little bit. Often it's the inferior wall that is well seen, and the anterior wall is not so well seen as we can see here, it's, it's falling out. So by doing a circle survey, I may be able to stumble into a nicer view of that anterior wall. Now look at my hand. If you notice, the heart is pointing off to the side. If I adjust my transducer parallel to the beam coming out or the wedge coming out of my probe, you can see how that affects the transducer moving across the screen. So in this case, I'm going to need to move down a little bit the tail of the transducer to make my ventricle more vertical on the screen. And again, let's look at the apex here. This is a nice shot of the apex pinching off. If I'm adjusted a little bit, just ever so slightly, look at the apex now. It is actually squeezing in like if it was a short axis view. That means I'm, I'm foreshortening my apical view. So you need to make sure you've got that opened up all the way in every apical view. You want to see it more pinching than, than just squeezing in. Now, if this is a difficult view, it's often very helpful to go ahead and, and rotate all the way to see the aorta come in. Now we know we've over-rotated for the two-chamber, and if we rotate back a little bit or twist back a little bit, now we know this has got to be the right place. If I'm, if I'm under-rotated, then I'm going to see the right ventricle coming in. So this is under-rotated, and this is over-rotated. So you just want to be right in the middle, no RV, no AO. And now we know we've got a good apical two-chamber view, and in this case, we've got a really nice apex. One of the things you can adjust as well, as you can see here, this is our focus. So if I move my focus, if I'm not seeing the apex well, I can move my focus towards the apex, and then often increase the gain a little bit, and now it may be a little bit easier to see exactly where that apex is.